Hey everyone, we've got a quick one today just talking about one of my favorite changes in Blender 3.1. If you've watched any of our modeling videos, you might have noticed that I'm a fan of the subdivision surface modifier. And Blender 3.1 introduced a very exciting option that I want to briefly go over. So here we've got a few different shapes, and I've got wireframe turned on in the object data properties so we can see how the geometry changes as we adjust things. Alright, let's go into the modifier tab, which looks like a little wrench, and then click this add modifier menu. There's quite a few modifiers. The one we're looking for is the subdivision surface modifier right here. And now after adding it, our cube kind of looks like a ball. Like a PlayStation 2 ball. I'm going to disable optimal display so we can see all the edges. The subdivision by default is set to Catmo Clark, which is an algorithm that kind of smooths out geometry. I don't know the exact math used. You can adjust the subdivision levels to make your shape more smooth and adding geometry to the shape will further adjust how the subdivision modifier divides and smooths the shape. The closer together geometry is, the sharper the subdivision curves are. And then we also have simple subdivision, which just subdivides the shape by how many times we've set here without adjusting the shape. So that's all the old stuff, the thing I really want to talk about is here under advanced. This use creases option. Currently it's not doing anything because we haven't set any creases. So hit N to bring up this side menu, and make sure you're in edit mode on the object you have selected. Under the vertices data and edge data section, we have some crease options that can be used to get a variety of different looks. If you select an edge, face, or vertex, and slide a crease option up, the shape adjusts accordingly. This is incredibly helpful if you want to quickly combine sharp and smooth edges on an object. I've used it on hair, animal ears, a ton of other stuff. It's helpful for literally everything you make in Blender. And it's super nice to have limitless ways that you can non-destructively affect your base mesh without adding any more geometry. So that's it. I just kind of wanted to fanboy over the use creases option because I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to help the channel grow, share the video. We also have a Patreon. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.